All right, that's us, Boomer and Carton on the fan, 653. You know, for the last couple of weeks, we've told you about uh, Detective Joseph Lem, who uh, passed away in Afghanistan. He was a member of the NYPD force. He was known as Superman. His uh, wife, Christine, is here. Hi, come on in. Hi, Christine. How are you? Come over here. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. You know, I'm at the point now where it's time to celebrate Joe. For those that never met Joe, don't know him, who are now hearing about his story for the first time, what would you want them to know about your husband? Joe was just the most loving, caring, giving, special individual I've ever met in my entire life. Period. Stop. Thank you for coming in. He was my rock. He was the family man, the best dad in the world. You know, there's not a thing he wouldn't do for the kids. Not a thing. He loved them with every ounce of his being. He was so selfless and the biggest jokester ever. And he made everyone happy that was around him. And everyone always wanted to be with him and was excited to see him. Joe was like the little brother I never had. And uh, knowing him for over 20 years, we played on a bunch of sports teams together. We played basketball, and he always looked for any chance to play. He was an amazing individual. 15 years plus in the police force, three tours, sergeant in the military. He did everything that you know you can ask of an American citizen to do. He wasn't afraid of anything. He was a superhero. That's why he, he had the name that everybody gave him, Superman. He was more than a hero. He just liked helping people. And if there was a just cause, Joe was for that just cause. He resembled Superman, and that's who he was. Joe and I would always meet up for dinner uh, before he would take off on a tour. And we just talked about keeping in touch and see you when you get back and be safe. And you know, and you, the last thing that ever crosses your mind is that you know that's the last time you're going to see him. New York detective Joseph Lem was among six people killed in the suicide bomb attack last week in Afghanistan. There was a final salute outside the cathedral, taps for a man who was as good as many wished they could be. I've never experienced something like that in my life, and I don't think I ever will. As numb as I was during that period of time, and as shocked as I was, um, as sad as I was, it was extremely overwhelming just to see the outpouring of support for Joe. And you look back at some of the pictures and just sort of say, wow, wow, what a great man. Joe went to every funeral, you know, for cops that died, anywhere that he could get to, any line of duty with New York City police, he was always at the funeral there to show his support, and it was really nice that everybody else came out for him that day as well. Joe died for our country, and Joe, every day when he was home, he was fighting to save millions of people. Words can't even describe that. I think that his son needs to know what type of person his father was. He did. 90% of the world wouldn't do. He would go into harm's way for everybody else, and that needs to be shown to everybody. We're always gonna miss Joe. I'm always gonna grieve for him. I don't ever want anybody to ever forget about Joe. You know, it, he's just that important of a person, and he'll go down in history as an amazing human being.